I'm here at the Populatic Street Bridge in Medway, getting ready to launch the kayak down the Charles, see how far I can get. Eventually I want to go all the way to Boston, but I'll have to do it in day trips. So I'll show you what I brought. I have the GPS unit. It has the track. I tracked it because there's a lot of dams. There's like 20 dam, or dozens of dams and 100 bridges. You need to know where some of the dams are so that you don't go over them. You got a portage around them. My knife, camera, cell phone wrapped in plastic, um, wallet, glasses. I got bo both kinds of line that I use. This Charles River canoe guide I found online and downloaded it. So this is actually where it starts, but it's a trickle here in it's not navigable and it's bushwhacking and I, you know, I just came back from Montana and I was bushwhacking, I'm done with that. So I'm here to kayak and fish, not bushwhack. So we started just a town or two over in Medway. We're right here at Populatic Street Bridge. We're going to go down here through Millis. Today I'll probably, I'll try to make it to maybe um, right here, Route 27. And then I'll just... I parked over here and I'll just get picked up over there. I haven't quite figured out a ride back yet, but no one was around. I'll figure that out once I get there. And I have, really, I just kept it simple. I got my telescopic rod and I brought some swim senkos and super flukes. That's all in hooks since I need it. My lip grabber, scale, that's pretty much everything. And I got a sub sandwich and water and Gatorade. So I've been go paddling for a few hours now. The Charles is around 80 miles long, even though it's only 26 miles or so to Boston. It's because it circles around. In fact, the Indian name for it is circular. Until Prince Charles came and decided he wanted to name it the Charles River. Give this place a try. I don't think there's much pressure right there. <laughs> 